A few weeks ago, I had an opportunity to join a group from the Bluegrass Council of the Blind and attend the 2023 AAW International Symposium held in Louisville, Kentucky. AAW stands for American Association of Woodturners. This was essentially a big conference all centered around wood turning. There were tons of companies there displaying their tools, people doing demonstrations, displaying their artwork, and of course, a large crowd of wood turning enthusiasts. We had the opportunity to see all the amazing wood artwork, which unfortunately you weren't allowed to touch, which was a little bit difficult for our group, but they did have this area set up with a ton of different wood turned bowls that you were allowed to touch and feel and even purchase. But the real reason why we were there is because of this amazing lady here. This is Andy Sullivan, and she is a visually impaired wood turner. And for over a decade now, she has been on a mission to bring the enjoyment of wood turning to the blind and disabled community. With the help of sponsorships from some amazingly generous companies like Powermatic and Easy Wood Tools, Andy was able to set up this area where we were able to use lathes to turn some wood. After a short explanation and demonstration by Andy herself, we were all able to jump onto one of the dozens of lathes that they had set out for us. They had several amazing volunteer experts that were available to help us teach us how to use the machines safely. And they set us loose to turn some some wood for our very own custom pins. The great thing about turning wood on a lathe, for us anyways, is that it's a very tactile and auditory experience. You can feel the tool biting into the wood and shaving off material. You can hear as it starts to grab that wood and whether it's making a proper cut or not. Yeah. And angle it at 45, and I'm just coming in, and you have to wiggle it until it's cutting, until you get that angle. And you don't go fast. Always go slow, and now we're going to go the other way. We're going to go, and you always want the tip to be going forward. And you don't push too hard. Now we're going to just do a little more. What I like to do is take the end down to the bushing. We're going to go all the way till you feel it. There. Then when you want to check your work, you turn the machine off and you can feel your progress on the wood. You can feel the high points, the low points, if you need to take a little more off over here or over on this side. It just lends itself very well to our particular needs. My favorite part was sanding the piece because that was a very hands-on experience. I could feel the wood as the sandpaper was removing material. I could feel it in real time and adjust as needed. Andy has created these programs all over the country. As I said, she's been doing this for about 10 years now. I'm really excited that here in Kentucky, the Bluegrass Council of the Blind is partnering up with Robert Luttrell of Iron Bridge Woodshop to house their very own lathe. And very soon they will begin classes teaching their consumers the art of wood turning. If you would like to learn more about Andy Sullivan, her incredible story and her mission, I will include links to some fantastic articles in the video description down below. And if you're interested in wood turning yourself, definitely reach out to the amazing sponsors of these programs, Powermatic and Easy Wood Tools. I will also include links to those websites in the video description down below.